Welcome to the spoken tutorial on typing text and basic formatting. In this tutorial, we will learn to align text, use bullets and numbering, use cut, copy and paste options, use bold, underline and italic option, use the font name, font size, font color options in writer. Formatting feature. Applying these features makes our document more attractive. They will be much easier to read as compared to the document which are plain text. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Open the file resume.odt which we have created earlier. This file has been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file. Make a copy then use it for practicing. We will learn about aligning text in writer. We had previously typed the word resume and align it to the center of the page. So let's select the word resume once again. If you have resized your LibreOffice window, some of the icon may not be visible. In that case, click on the double arrow icon at the end of the toolbar to see the hidden icons. Now click on the align left icon on the formatting toolbar. The word resume is now aligned to the left of the page. Click on the align right icon, the word resume gets aligned to the right of the page. Now click on the justify icon. The word resume is now uniformly placed between right and left margin of the page. This feature will be more obvious when we have a line or paragraph of text. Let's undo the changes until our text resume is center aligned. In writer, we press Ctrl plus Z keys on the keyboard to undo an action. Deselect the word resume. Now press enter key on the keyboard to go to the next line. Press the enter key once again to create one more line. Click on the align left icon in the toolbar. Then click on the bold icon from the toolbar to disable the bold option. Now let us learn about bullets and numbering. Bullets and numbering are used when independent points have to be written in a document. Each point starts with either a bullet or a number. Bullets are used for unordered list. Numbering is used for ordered list. In the formatting toolbar, we see the separate icons for bullets and numbering. Let's click on the bullets icon. Immediately, a dot or a bullet symbol appears on the document. Let's type the alphabet A and press enter. Now. Let's type B and press enter. Next, let's press numbering icon. Immediately, the bullet symbol is converted to number 1. Type C and press enter. Type D and press enter. Hope this gives you a clear picture of the difference between bullets and numbering. Click and drag the left mouse button to select all this text. Now we will learn another method of accessing bullets and numbering. First click on the format menu in the menu bar and then on bullets and numbering option. Bullets and numbering dialog box opens up. It provides various styles under different tabs which can be applied to our document. Select bullet tabs if not already selected. Many bullet styles are seen here. Select the large square bullets and click on the OK button at the bottom right corner of the dialog box. Observe the change in the bullet symbols. Now let's reopen the bullets and numbering dialog box and click on the numbering tab. Many numbering styles are seen here. Let's select the Roman numeral style 
and click on the OK button at the bottom right corner of the dialog box. Observe the change in the numbering. They appear as Roman numerals now. Likewise, we can use any bullets or numbering style as per our choice. Now press the delete key on the keyboard. Then press the backspace key on the keyboard to remove the remaining numbering also. Let's reopen the bullets and numbering dialog box and click on the numbering tab. Now let us click on the second style and click on the OK button. We are now ready to type our first point. We will type name colon space Ramesh and press enter. Here onwards, press the enter key after every point. The next bullet point shows the new incremental number. Let us type the second point in the resume as father's name colon Mahesh. Then type the third point as mother's name colon Shweta. Type the next two points as shown here. Let us save our file by pressing Ctrl plus S keys. It's a good habit to frequently save our file while working. There can be multiple levels of bullets or numbers in a list. It depends on the format we choose. Let me demonstrate for you. Go to the point number 4, Father's Occupation. Place the cursor after the colon and press enter. Now press tab key once. Immediately number 5 turns into a new bullet list and gets indented below number 4. Move the cursor to the end of the bullet point and press enter. Type self employed and press enter. We can press shift plus tab keys to decrease the indentation. Now press the delete key till the next point comes up one line. Move the cursor to the end of the numbered point 5 and press enter. Number 6 appears on the list. To turn off bullets and numbering, reopen the bullets and numbering dialog box. Click on the remove button at the bottom. We see that the bullets and numbering style is no longer seen for the new line of text. Explore the bullets and numbering quick access icon in the formatting toolbar on your own. Notice that we have typed the word name thrice in our document. Instead of typing the same text all over again, we can use the copy and paste option in writer. So let us learn how to do this. First, delete the word name from the text mother's name. Select the word name in father's name. Right click on the mouse and select copy. Place the cursor between the text mothers and colon symbol. Right click on the mouse and select paste. We see that the word name get pasted automatically. The shortcut keys for these options are Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste. This feature is very useful while writing repeated text in large documents. So we don't need to type the entire text repeatedly. We can simply copy and paste. In writer, there is a similar feature to copy which is cut. Let me show a demonstration. First, delete the word name from the text mother's name. Now, select the word name in father's name. Right click and select cut. Notice the word name is no longer there next to the word father's which means it has been cut or deleted. Place the cursor between the text mothers and colon symbol. Right click on the mouse and select paste. We see that the word name is now pasted next to the word mothers. The shortcut key to cut is Ctrl plus X. Likewise, paste the word after fathers also. Cut and paste feature is useful to move a text from one place in the document to another. The only difference between copying and cutting the text is the copy options keep the original word at its place from where it was copied. 
whereas the cut option removes it from original place. Move the cursor to the end of the document. Press enter twice. Now let's type a new heading education details. We will now learn how the font name font size of any text can be changed or applied. Previously, we had selected undotum as the font name. Hence, we can see undotum in the font name field. Let us use different font and size for the heading education details. So first, select the text education details and then click on the font name drop down. Search for Liberation Sands and click on it. The font size field shows 14 currently. Let us change this to 11. We see that the font size of the text decreases. Let's now move to font color. Make sure that our text is still selected. Now click on the drop down in the font color and select the color green. So we see that the heading is now green in color. Next, we will click on the icons bold, italic and underline. We can use any combination of this text format for our text as per our requirements. Save our file by pressing Ctrl plus S keys and then close it by clicking on the X icon at the top right. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to align text, use bullets and numbering, use cut, copy and paste options, use bold, underline and italic option, use the font name, font size, font color options in writer. As an assignment, open the file practice.odt, activate bullets and numbering, Choose any style and type few lines of text. Select some text and change its font name to Free Sans. Set the font size to 16. Make the text italic. Change the font color to red. Save and close the file. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The spoken tutorial project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desi Crew Solution Private Limited in 2011. This is Pratik Kamle along with the spoken tutorial team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.